The Who. Of course, I have heard of this band, The Who. I'm sure they brought him up on uh, like School of Rock or something. Or yeah, that that's where I'm thinking about it, right? Wasn't like the kid watching the drummer of The Who learning to drum. So uh, The Who has, I of, of course, I've heard the band and I know they're a big band. And yet again, dude, thankfully, my ignorance, my having just stuck to the same music throughout my whole life for no reason, just it's just what I did. We now get to experience something for our first time. So if you're new here, odds are you are a fan of The Who. That's why these reaction videos do any good. You're probably here because you're passionate about this band and I'm excited to check this out. This video was uh, technically sponsored. A very uh, kind and generous donation by Mike Godsey. Mike says, I didn't see a reaction to any songs from The Who, which I can't abide, smiley face. I, th I think you would love reacting to either Who You Are or You Won't Get Fooled Again or won't get fooled again try to find a live version of them you won't regret it okay well live so m the my favorite thing to do on this channel my favorite way to experience a group for my first time has been to check them out live so and also this is this is mike's money he, his call my dog my dog is uh, wanting to come in what's up boy okay well i was about to check out this promo video but we're gonna have to look it up a live version i want to look up something old school not from like the late 80s or 2000s okay, there's this uh, set from 1989 in la in the comment section people are loving this performance of it so this is just how it's gonna be this is gonna be the first time watching the who man let's just go with it um if the audio sucks i might stop it and and maybe we'll then just check out the that promo video but Let's do this. Guys, thank you for hanging out. Check out the description down below to find ways to support, but he's with me. Why fat girl? All right, gentlemen, let's uh, let's see it. But we now know. Okay. This is funky, dude. One. I've heard of this. Who are you? Okay. That's the only part I recognize. Alright, good. Good boy. This is great, dude. Okay. So yes, I I totally recognize that that part. Um, the irony that well, I, I mean, I don't know if it's ironic, but. So I'm trying to, where have I heard this, dude? Because I'm sure it's played in a ton of places. I didn't know that the song got that funky. You know, just out of curiosity, I want to take a snippet. The promo video, I, I bet, uh, probably might get like a lockdown pretty quick. So I just want to hear what, uh, what it sounds like. Okay, so that kind of sounded the same. Yeah, that part, yeah. Yeah, it sounds. This live version sounds freaking fantastic, dude. Dude, I love that transition right there.
Let's go. Oh, let's go. Is that a fitness strat with a tremolo on it? Jeez. I love that this guy's freaking slaying it on the guitar and he looks like my freaking dad in the 80s. So, dude, in School of Rock, they were watching that because that's where this is the guitars that that came from. It's like all of these different songs within the song. Oh my gosh, dude! Okay, so this is my favorite thing about watching like older live uh, performances. No attitude, no, nothing. Just true musicianship. Homies running in place like nobody's business and it... You wouldn't hear it. What the frick is that? Is he like in excited delirium or something? Let's go, dude. I know there's a place you want where love falls down the trees. My heart is like a broken cup. I only feel right on my knees. I spit out like a sewer hole. Can still be seen your ears. I can imagine what to my now. Such a love as this But who are you? Come on, tell me who are you? So really wanna know Who are you? Are you the beginning of the bass player again? I'm always freaking crocking right now I want to see the bass player Gosh, dude. Wow. Dude, we just don't make them like this anymore, bro. My wife did tell me she went to a Coldplay concert. And apparently Chris Martin runs around like nobody's business and he can still just sing like you wouldn't think. But wow, amazing. Um, I got lost at the end there. The bass player was actually kind of crushing it, bro. I rewinded her back at the exact spot. Look at that. Effortless. 
every single person was uh, kind of a superhuman here. Again, that that part, the the who 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 who. I've heard that in so many places. I know I have. I did not know that the song became that. Yeah, that song's awesome, dude. The drummer was insane. The guitar is fantastic. The singer, like, what the freak is that, dude? Was like, all I can say, but I don't want to prejudge. I don't know if he did this sort of thing, but all I can say is cocaine is a hell of a drug, right? The bass player, I probably already mentioned that. This is fantastic, dude, and what a great performance. There's funk, there's rock, there's all, of, there's, yeah, this one comment, this one guy here, each of them a true genius in his own field. Whoops, I forgot to turn off those alerts. How did I, how did I turn that off? Tremendo, the who? Freaking A, dude. Okay, um, Mike, you mentioned we also have to check out another song, Won't Get Fooled Again. We're gonna have to check them out some more, dude, because they are right up my alley, dude. These dudes are freaking awesome. Great performers and master musicians. Fit as all get out. Oh, man. Yeah, we we have to do more of the Who, right? Did they purposely write a song with their band name and keep repeating Who? Like, was that on purpose? Got the lyrics here. Who are you, Who, 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 Who? Woke up in a Soho doorway. Nice. I lived in Chinatown right around there. Would walk around Soho and be like, man, these people are rich. Policeman knew my name. He said, you can go to sleep at home tonight. You can get up and walk away. Is he drunk? Staggered back to the underground and the breeze blew back my hair. I remember throwing punches around and preaching from my chair. What? What is this song about? So he's clearly drunk because it almost sounds like he's like doing things in his drunkenness that he's ashamed of. That's what I was thinking of at first. Like he's talking to himself like he's like, gosh, who are you? Right. I was I was thinking that I really want to know. And then there seemed but then there's this line. I know there's a place you walk where love love falls from the trees. My heart is like a broken cup. I, I only feel right on my knees. I spit it out like a sewer hole, yet I still receive your kiss. How can I measure up to anyone now after such a love as this? OK, this is where my Christianity comes, but I can't help but think like it, it sounds like that's where my mind initially goes. But let me let's let's look up what what, what the song's about, because my interpretation was Again, someone in their drunken shame, recognizing and feeling that they are not measuring up to who they can be. Therefore, they are reaching out to something to become better. That's what I th that's what I thought it was. But I could be just so way off. The lyrics of Who Are You were inspired by an incident Townshend, Townshend? experience after going out drinking with Steve Jones and Paul Co Paul Cook of the Sex Pistols. I've heard of that band name too. Townshend was found in a Soho doorway by policemen. <laughs> Townshend explained in his autobiography, the the who, who I am, nice. The last verse is about an early incident that happened on the last North American leg of the tour. The day before the concert, Townshend took the opportunity to visit a spiritual center retreat owned by his guru in nearby Myrtle Beach. So he's recalling this experience where his friends are concerned about him. He's, you know, dealing with alcoholism. And a spiritual teacher comes and loves him unconditionally. And so therefore the question remains, who are you? But in a way of wanting to, to arise and to, to that person, to, to your potential. I didn't expect that song to be so vast. Is that a good word? It felt like there were three or four different songs within the song, which is one of my favorite things about some of the older music we've checked out. It's almost like symphonic, dude. There's like movements. Let's check them out more, guys. If you hung out with me here for this, for this, thank you. I am so grateful I uh, blocked out the world for so long, if you will. Because experiencing this, like a lot of this stuff for my first time in like, you know, just being slightly more mature. I feel like songs like this, like impact me more than they would have if I were, when I was young, you know? So awesome. Man, we are, this video is way too long and we are just rambling. So stay tuned for the next one, guys. Who else should we check out? Check out the description down below to find ways to get in touch. Much love, everybody.